I changed my hair again because I wanted to. Oh, Susie! Hello! <laughs> Ow! Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Hannah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and Susie! This week I had my birthday. I turned 17 years old on the 2nd of October and as an early birthday present a while back my sisters gifted me three things and then yesterday for my party my friends also gifted me three things and those three things are the same but different so uh, basically this is my long way of saying that I got six new BTS albums <laughs> So I currently own eight. I'm the proud owner of eight BTS albums. Yes, I am part of ARMY proudly. Anyone can try to make fun of me for it, but um, you're just missing out. So honestly, you're bad. And to celebrate having so many albums now, I thought that I would take all the albums that I own and look at all the books that I own and try and find which book cover matches each album cover best. And some of these are really bad matches. Some of them I will say are pretty solid matches. So without further ado and without rambling on too long, Let's get on with the video. I'm going to go in order of release, starting from the ones that I own that were released first, going on to the ones that I own that were released most recently. First off, I've got Oh Are You Late 2. My friends gave me this yesterday for my birthday, so I've, I've only had this for one day. The photo cards that I got were Jimin and the whole group photo card. I feel like this one was pretty easy to match for me because a book that I read before I got into BTS has a very similar cover. And when I first saw this, I immediately thought of that book. That book being This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. I feel like they're both really similar just because of the white background and red writing. Of course this has like the sort of grey bit here but just pretend that's not there and they're basically the same thing. <laughs> I will say that this is probably my best match so we are starting off very strong and the other ones become a bit of a stretch in some places but it's fine. We've got one solid match. I decided to only use books that I physically have because I'm only using albums that I physically have. I could already think of lots of book covers that would match these album covers a lot better than the ones that I've chosen but I've decided to stick solely to books that are in my house and I've done the best that I can with that. The next album that I own is School Love Affair. I also got this yesterday. I didn't have any older albums so I asked my friends to give them to me and they did and they're just they're the best. They're amazing. I love you guys all so much. Oh wow. Okay, of course I need to have a green book to match with this. I tried my best to find a green book with pink on it as well, but there aren't really any green books, let alone green books with pink on them too. So I went for green with red. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco has got a woman on it who's wearing both a necklace with a bit of pink on it and she's wearing red lipstick, so um... I still haven't read this book and I've been meaning to for so long and every single Halloween I'm like, I'll read it this Halloween and then I'm like, I'll read it this Halloween, but I just I still haven't read it. Halloween is coming though, so maybe <laughs> we shall see. Oh, for this photo card I got Hobie. And I will say the photo card for this album is so cool. It's like a ticket and you can kind of rip off the single member from the group photo. But I didn't want to do that because, you know, nope. Next up, the Young Forever album. I got the night version. It's, it's just so pretty. I don't know why I'm getting out. <laughs> for this I was looking for a book that was as dark in the background as I can find with some orange because you know it's lit up with the fire. The closest I got was Hunger by Michael Grant. It's got the completely black background with the orange sort of highlights. It's also got bright orange sprayed pages but if you just look at the front <laughs> then they're pretty similar. This was my first album that I got. I remember when I got it. I was so happy. It was last Christmas. This next one was pretty hard to find a cover for. It would be better if it was the books before this one in the series and you'll understand what I mean in a second. You Never Walk Alone. My sisters gave this to me for my birthday. Look at that. That's pink. Anyway, it's got like a pink edge bit here. So I went for Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han, which is the third book in the To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy. I went for this purely because it's got a purple spine and that kind of matches with the pink spine. From what I was saying before, if I had the first book in this trilogy, it's actually got a pink spine. So that would have worked a lot better. But like I said, I'm only going with books I own. I went for this kind of neutral background along with the coloured spine in the general similar shade range. Technically, coloured confetti coloured piece of clothing on her chair. Is that on her chair? I think it's on her chair. That counts. And then next... Ah, oh, I forgot to say which photo cards I got for which one. For Young Forever, I got... Forever we are young. 
I got Yoongi for Young Forever. For You Never Walk Alone, I got Hobie. And next. The photo card that I got for this was Namjoon. My sister's also got the Wings album and she also got Namjoon. So we've got two Namjoon Wings photo cards and I mean, I'm not mad, so. The book that I chose to go with it is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. You see these wispy sort of grey parts here? I immediately thought of this book thinking there must be at least some sort of wispiness on here and I couldn't find it until I looked kind of a bit closer and there on the bottom there are these sort of spirals that are grey so I think that that matches it's just the idea of the night circus sounds quite mysterious and ominous maybe you also get those vibes from this album cover I got the Tay and Hobie version my sister's also got this for me next <laughs> The next album is my favourite album, my first comeback album, and just superior on so many levels. I just... you can disagree with me, obviously, but in my opinion... Love Yourself Tear was such an amazing comeback. Every single song on here is a bop, okay? Every single one. No one can tell me any different. The whole concept... Fake love is just so good. And we, you've got it, it, outro tears on here and just nothing can be that. Honestly, it's just singularity, fake love, the truth untold, 134.340, paradise, love maze, magic shop, epping part two, and pan man, so what, and outro tear. 10 out of 10. That being said, I chose a book that I haven't actually read. <laughs> so I can't say that the book is 10 out of 10 as well. But I'm sure that some people will tell you that. The ones who've actually read it and enjoyed it. Um, but that is... Okay, these are actually really different. Mm, okay. I chose The Hobbit. And if you ignore the red, it's also got these kind of gold shimmery parts. And I thought that instead of using a completely black book for this, I would add some sort of shiny element because the text and the font on here is actually holographic. I kind of went shine for shine. And yeah, I also got this yesterday from my friend, Kanoya. Thank you, Kanoya. I love you so much. So, yeah. The photo card that I got was... Jin. Love Yourself Answer is a entirely holographic album. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but it is, it's holographic, um, <laughs> which is beautiful to look at, but not, but not very easy to match to a book. <laughs> because it's a light colour, I went for a white book. And because it's got the holographic shine, I went for shiny writing. So even though the book isn't actually holographic, it's got some element of shine, the same way that I did for Love Yourself. That book is this beast of a book. Kingdom of Ash. It is enormous and I still haven't read it. That being said, the rest of the series is incredible and this is an incredible album so it makes up for it. <laughs> it's got shiny text there and she's got she's got the occasional colours Aelin there. She's, she's got some shiny stuff holding a sword. So those two go together. That's not actually as bad a match as I thought it was at the start. I think that I've got some worse ones in here to be honest. That leaves us with the last but certainly, certainly not least of a soul persona. I also got this from my sisters. It's stunning. I just love pink. Okay, I love the colour pink and this is an entirely pink album so I, it also matches my eyeshadow that I'm wearing. And for this I just had to find the pinkest book in my house which is actually a book that my sister has and that is Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. It's got red in it as well and they're completely different shades of pink but they're still both entirely almost pink so that's probably worse than the previous one. They're literally not even the same shade but they're not even similar shades, but they're pink and I like pink. So. The photo cards that I got for this, because you get two, I got the big one of Namjoon and the little one of Hobie. And the fact that my camera has now shut off twice whilst filming this video probably means that it's best to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed even if you're not really part of the BTS fandom because you don't actually have to know anything about them to watch the video. All of my social media and my other channels will be linked in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you as soon as I can next. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you very much. Bye-bye.